Hello and welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Rachel and today we are going to be going through how I made the pieces for my light elf costume. So to start us off, I did make this really rough sketch of how I kind of wanted the costume to look. And I also pulled this picture from Pinterest as inspiration. We are starting off with the dress here. I got this dress from Plato's Closet for like 12 bucks and I just wanted to make a few changes to make it how I wanted it. So I started by cutting up the slit and making the slit go higher because I like to show a little leg, you know, I got like to get that leg action and then sewed it down again where I wanted it. The next thing I did was roll the hem of the dress and hemmed it because I am short and dresses are always too long on me. This next part is really hard to explain because I probably did this in the most convoluted way possible, but I bought this silky fabric from Hobby Lobby and tried to make like these flowy waterfall sleeves. And I literally just pinned some of the fabric down in like the shape that I want and like the drape that I wanted directly to the straps and sewed it down. And it looked a little funky, but it did work. So I don't know. Did I learn a lesson here? Not really. <laughs> okay, getting into the fun stuff, we have the EVA foam armored bodice. To start off, I needed to make a pattern, so I wrapped myself in plastic wrap and covered it with duct tape. From there, I just started drawing out how I want the bodice to look and what each piece would look like. One thing to note is I drew little registration marks of where the pieces line up that will come in handy later when we reattach everything. So don't forget those. After I had all my lines carefully drawn out, I cut myself out of this. This step can be even easier if you're not stubborn and ask someone for help. So don't be like me. Now that we have all of our individual pieces, it's time to trace them onto EVA foam. First the front side, then flip them around to get the mirrored side of the pattern. Make sure to label them and add in those little dashes onto the foam. Once they're all cut out, it looks like this. Next up, I used my heat gun to shape the booby cups and make them round again. Now it's time to glue the side pieces together. I used contact cement to make sure I had a good strong bond and tried my best to line up all the marks from earlier, which wasn't the easiest, but I did manage. Okay, this next part is optional because wow, is Warbler expensive, but I did line the base of my bodice with black Warbler on the inside just to make it a bit sturdier, but you could also just use more EVA foam. Next up, I glued on my cups, once again following those same lines. Okay, so to make this lace upable, I punched a bunch of holes into the back using a hole puncher, got a rivet kit from my local Michaels, and just hammered the rivets in like it was a piece of leather. Pretty easy, a few did fall out, but hey, you know, it worked. Now on to adding the details to the bodice. I added the details using three different methods because frankly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Nevertheless, it did work out, so whatever. The first method was just roughly measuring and using the bodice and a marker and cutting out the pieces I wanted. This was the least effective method, so I quickly moved on. All I got out of this was that diamond you see here. The second method was to cut out and add warbler in the shapes I wanted. This worked well for the lining around the bodice, but not really the inner shapes I wanted to make. Which brings us to our last method, which was putting painter's tape over the top where I wanted to add extra detail and drawing them directly onto the bodice. Taking off the tape, cutting out the shapes, I made with the tape onto EVA foam, and bam, you got your detail. This was the most effective and easiest method, so now I guess I know what I'm doing. Up next was to prime for paint with Plasti Dip. After priming, I painted the entire thing gold with a metallic gold spray paint. To add detail and dimension to the paint job, I did a black wash, which is where I take a black paint, mix it with a lot of water, brush it over the whole thing, and then wipe off most of it with a paper towel. This gives it that rugged, worn look and also makes it look like metal and like it's been through a little bit of war, you know? After that, I took a really light gold metallic paint and added highlights around the very edges of the bodice. And there it is, all done and ready to be worn. She's so beautiful, oh my gosh, ah! And finally, last but certainly not least, we have the bracers. I'm pretty sure you know the drill by now. I wrapped my arm in plastic, covered it in duct tape, and drew on the design. 
I did have a few bumps in the road with this one. The design did not quite come out right, but I did make a few adjustments using duct tape and some more foam and eventually got the shape I wanted. After I had the base, I traced out the design I wanted over top, which was these shapes here. Then I went ahead and glued them down with my old friend contact cement. Once again, it's time to prime and paint. Once I had the base gold down, I started to add the rivets. Same method was done, poked some holes, hammered some of the rivets in. Then it was time to do the same black wash I did over the bodice. I did, however, go back after it was dry with a dry brushing of metallic gold because they came out a little darker than I liked, and this kind of fixed that. I went over the edges with the same light gold. Finally, I laced them up and the costume was done. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps someone getting into making foam armor. I know when I started, it was a very daunting task and I didn't know what to do. If you're interested in the rest of my costume, go check out my light elf walkthrough video. I also have other elf cosplays, so if you're interested, check those out as well. And once again, just thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.